here at Landall Street we've been producing SRF for Semex since uh, March when we started commissioning. We've been accepting commercial and industrial general waste in at the front end, um, processing that through the SRF plant and producing solid recovered fuel for Semex for a 25 year agreement that we have. CT UK have got some experience in SRF and we learn quite a lot from our uh, parent company as well. Um, we're doing a lot of SRF on the continent but we don't really have the capability and uh, we want some sort of performance guarantee on the plant because we're not that experienced in actually building plants. Sutco was chosen as part of the, uh, the evaluation criteria as the preferred bidder for the plant and eventually the contractor. We evaluated on price and quality and the technical ability uh, and certainly on the technical, Sutco stood out a mile from the other tenderers um, basically because of the design of the plant. It was far better and we were able to load a lot of materials inside. It's quite a difficult project because we're using an existing building and retrofitting the machinery into the building and uh, Sutco definitely came out with the best layout. Sutco has built over 430 plants worldwide and has got a lot of experience on producing an SRF or an RDF product. The plant is a state-of-the-art plant um, which gives CETA flexibility so they can, uh, they can taking different materials at the front end but we can still supply a good quality uh, material at the, at, the, at the back end for their end customer. The waste is deposited into the waste reception area. It's then picked up by a grab and dropped into uh, a pre-shredder where it shreds the material to a manageable size. The material then goes up at a, a conveyor into a trommel, the size of the material into three fractions. The trommel is a standout piece of equipment simply because it sizes and gets the right material target material we're looking for produce a good SRF product. The 60 to 300 mil material then drop onto a conveyor where it passes through a, a, an air box. The air box then um, sorts the material in density so we've got a heavy material, a medium material and a light material. The material is, is consistent and you, as, you, as you go through the process you can see that the heavies and the medium and the light material you can see a, a real definition. Uh, the medium material is fed through an eddy current separator where any non-ferrous material is taken out the remaining material drop through the eddy current separator and pass through a picking cabin where any material such as dense plastics uh, or wet cardboard or any rogue material that won't suit the process can be removed. The remaining material pass under a, a magnet where any ferrous material is removed. That leaves the remaining uh, medium uh, density material that will pass into the shredders for, for making the product. Once the material passes through the shredder and is sized correctly. It passes over an analysing unit which analyses the, uh, the moisture content, the chlorine content and the calorific value of the material and feeds it back into the picking cabin where any adjustments can be made on the type of material being picked. The material then um, passes into a conveyor and then into a storage bay. The promise was that uh, we would achieve 90% availability and we've, we've managed to exceed that which was quite um, satisfying. Landor Street Solid Recovered Fuel Facility is designed to produce 24 tonnes of solid recovered fuel an hour. Um, we're hoping to work on a two shift basis, um, so uh, we should be processing 100,000 tonne a year um, and producing about 60,000 tonnes of solid recovered fuel. Landor Street is our second SRF facility in the UK and then we're moving on to a much bigger um, scale of facility over at Malpass Farm and that's part of a contract that CQ UK have got with Semex. So in the future, CETA are going to be providing Semex with all of their SRF for in the UK uh, and we've signed up to a 25-year contract. So it's very important that uh, Subco perform on this contract because CETA needs to be able to perform for the next 25 years. Yeah, working with Sutco throughout the project has been brilliant. Um, the guys on site have been really helpful and we've worked well together as a team to make the site a success. Yeah.